is all human life equal? Apparently not, according to one author who uh, writes this week's challenge. Here's what she says. I know that throughout my own pregnancies, I never wavered for a moment in the belief that I was carrying a human life inside me. I believe that's what a fetus is, a human life. And that doesn't make me one iota less solidly pro-choice. Here's a complicated reality in which we live. All life is not equal. A fetus can be a human life without having the same rights as a woman in whose body it resides. She's the boss. Her life and what is right for her circumstances and her health should automatically trump the rights of the non-autonomous entity inside her, always. Abortion saves lives not just in the most medically literal way, but in the roads that women who have choice then get to go down, in the possibilities for them and for their families. And I would put the life of a mother over the life of a fetus every single time, even if I still need to acknowledge my conviction that the fetus is indeed a life, a life worth sacrificing. All right, there's a lot being said in that challenge, but um, let me try to understand two possible rationales that are going on in the mind of this author. And let me just say up front here, uh, either one of these rationales that is going on in her mind is, is very disturbing and very, very troubling. Now, the first possibility in terms of her rationale going, going on in her mind is that she thinks that the unborn is a human being, a human being just like you and me, a human life, but that it is still okay to kill that innocent human life because, she says, she's the boss and her, trump, her rights automatically trump the rights of the unborn child. Now notice, she's acknowledging the unborn is a human being. And in fact, it's her own son and daughter that she's saying it is okay for her to kill her own son or daughter. I mean, good grief. I mean, here's a person that I would not want to babysit my kids. Why? Because obviously if she thinks it's morally permissible to kill an innocent human being that's inside her womb, then she would think it's morally permissible to kill an innocent human being that's even outside of her womb. Because remember, she acknowledges the fetus is a human being, is a human life. Now the second possibility in terms of understanding her rationale is that she's suggesting that although the unborn is a human being, it's not a valuable human being because, in her words, it's not autonomous. And by this, I take it to mean that she says, or she thinks, that the unborn is not independent, but rather dependent upon her body for sustenance or survival. Now, if this is the case, this woman is engaging in an egregious evil, and that is uh, an unjust form of discrimination. She's basically saying that, yes, this is a human being, but I can decide that this human being deserves to be killed because I have deemed that some particular characteristic is relevant to the question of value. And this is autonomy. And because she says this value or this characteristic is what makes uh, the unborn human being valuable, therefore I can go ahead and kill it. Now this is, this is a horrific act of unjust discrimination, a particular kind of discrimination that in fact we've seen many times throughout history. Um, just take a look at, at U.S. history, for example. Um, we had a period in our time in which African Americans were discriminated against. Okay? And people said, yes, they are human beings, but they said, but there is a quality or characteristic, namely their skin color, that we're going to decide is important. And therefore, because it's important and because African Americans don't satisfy the terms of that characteristic or quality according to the way we want, we can therefore abduct them and force them into, into labor, slavery. The same thing happened with World War II and the Jews, right? They were considered a class of human beings, but some people said, ah, but there's a characteristic, their ethnicity, that we are going to deem to be relevant to the question of value. And since you don't qualify on that because you're Jewish, therefore we can experiment on you and we can exterminate you. And the same thing is happening with unborn children today as is the case with this author. She's saying, look, yes, you are a human being, but I'm going to decide based on my whim that autonomy is the relevant factor, and I'm going to discriminate against you because you are not autonomous. And because of that, you are no longer valuable, and therefore I can also kill you because you get in the way. Okay? This is why I say on this understanding of a rationale, this is an egregious evil. It's unjust discrimination in the worst form because it results in the death of innocent human beings. So basically, 
Either way you take her understanding, her rationale in this particular challenge, it's deeply disturbing. She either thinks it's okay to kill bona fide human beings, even her own children, because she's the boss, or she thinks it's morally permissible to discriminate against some classes of human beings based on characteristics which she herself deems to be important based on a whim, which of course is also incredibly disturbing.